Hi everyone, in this video we have a sequence and we're going to try to find a formula for the sequence. So here we have the terms of the sequence, 1, negative 1 half, 1 third, negative 1 fourth, and then these three dots here indicate that it goes on forever. So let's go ahead and try to go through the thought process of coming up with a formula for this particular sequence. So solution. There's probably different ways to think about it. So the first thing I'm noticing is that we have signs that are alternating. So we have positive, negative, positive, negative. So generally when you have signs that are alternating, you wanna think of this. You wanna think of negative one to the n. The problem with this is that this is a sequence and we're pretending all sequences here start at n equals one. So this here is going to be x1, this is x2, this is x3, this is x4, etc. So if you plug in one here, you're going to get negative one to the one, but that's negative one. So we want it to be positive one. So what we can do is we can put a plus one here, and that will ensure that whenever we plug in an odd number like one, three, or five, which is not listed, uh, we're gonna get an even exponent, and negative one to an even number is equal to one. So for example, if I plug in one, I'll get one plus one, so that's two, so I get one. If I plug in um, two, I get two plus one. That's three, so that's negative one. Whenever it's odd, so negative one to an odd number is negative one. So this is gonna work. This is gonna take care of the signs. So now just we have to figure out the fractions. So for the fractions, it's pretty easy. Look, you can think of this as a number over one. So one, two, three, four. We just do times one over n. So our formula for this problem is going to be x sub n equals negative one to the m plus one times one over n. And this formula is valid for n greater than or equal to one. And this should give us the sequence up here. Yeah, pretty simple, um, not difficult. I just wanted to show you an example of the thought process. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.